Hello everybody, welcome back to this week's Aldi taste test where we are trying some new and interesting products that we haven't tried yet and we can't wait to share with you guys what we think and how they all taste. So, if you're excited for this week's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned to the end if you want to hear the question of the week. All right, let's get right into it. All right, ooh baby just hold tight, we're up the moonlight. Okay, so we have just one thing of hot food, and one I say thing because it's a trio. Yes, this is the shrimp trio. Uh, I was able to air fry it per the instructions on the back, so I just followed those. And there's three of them. So one of them, you know, when I'll be honest, when I was, when I was looking at this, I was like, these look like witch's fingers. <laughs> look at these things. And then these look like they could be like witch's stockings if you just put little shoes on the bottom. I don't know what oh, you do. that's actually cute. Okay. And this, I have no idea. Maybe brains? Oh, I don't God. know. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, let's see how they taste. You're in the so, Halloween spirit. I am, yes. So I'm going to go with this like tempura looking one. And it can, it comes with sauce. So are you going to dip the sauce in too? Can we show everybody the yep. sweet and sour, I think? Mm -hmm. So I'll say this is really good. I like the texture and uh, definitely cooked all the way through. Flavor's a little lacking. I think it needs a little bit more, like, the sauce is probably gonna be good with it. Yeah, try the So sauce. I'm gonna try it with the sauce now. While you're doing that, I'm getting the cheese ready. It's very, like, sweet. So uh, if you like that sweet with shrimp uh, flavor, it's not very spicy. It doesn't have very much chili, like, spice oh, to yeah. it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but very sweet. Okay. I enjoyed it. I liked I liked that with it better than without it, I think. Okay, that's good. So the witch's legs next. <laughs> the I'm witch's dip, legs. I'm gonna dip to begin. When I dip, you dip, we dip. That's really good too. <laughs> uh, a little bit different. It feels like these ones are like really small shrimp in there uh, versus the one big shrimp. That looks kind of like a um, spring roll. Yeah, very much. I yeah. think that's probably what it is. And delicious again. I like the sauce. I like, I think the consensus on the sauces is good and it goes a little bit a long way. Well, that's good. While, while Tim was dipping and eating, I was cutting the cheese, um, not uh -huh. figuratively, literally, um, but we're going to take a pause from those two. Okay. You have one more, but let's try the cheese because I'm hungry. I want to try something too. I'm feeling left out. So this is the Lustenberger 1862 fruity tangy imported from Switzerland cheese. So. I got the baguette that I bought in the haul, and we're going to try um, some cheese on the baguette, and also just, we can try it plain too, because okay. I did it both ways. So, do you wanna try it with the baguette first? Let's try it with the baguette. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give my review on the baguette first, because oh, yeah. it's very dry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, I don't know how long we were sitting here chewing in silence, but <laughs> so yeah. I was just trying just the cheese so we can try to see what that tastes like. But from what I tried, it was pretty good. Mmm, I like the cheese. Yeah. I'm trying to compare it to like a traditional Swiss cheese. I don't think it's Swiss cheese. It's from Switzerland, so it's, mm, it is yeah. technically Swiss cheese. Okay. okay. Um. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm still, um, I'm just trying to like recover from that bread. Um, yeah, the bread is extremely dry. I like Trader Joe's baguettes better, but I think if I heated it up, maybe did a little tiny butter on there too with the cheese, it'd be really good. Um, but the cheese itself, very, it's like mild and it has like a really nice flavor to it. I feel like it would pair really well with a red wine. I don't have a red wine to open, but um, yeah, that's I, kind of like what I can see myself enjoying mm -hmm. this cheese with some wine and um, a slightly more moist baguette because that one was just way too hard to get through and chew. So I will say I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a mild, more mild cheese. It doesn't have like a ton of flavor, but it definitely has flavor. And I really enjoy it. And I think it would pair well too with even like a, like a pepper jelly or whatever type of dip or spread or whatever that you can dump over soft cheeses usually. I feel like this cheese would go well with that too. All right, Tim, are you gonna eat your Yes, yeah, so here's the third one. Bite? It looks like it's like a popped like corn thing. Mmm, <laughs> this one's my favorite texture by far. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you crunch into it and the shrimp is like all diced up and small in there with some other herbs. 
and it's all just one ball that they mm -hmm. cooked and baked and whatever. Really good. I love it. Um, I would say the trio as a whole, I would give it like a, a B. It was it was good. Uh, it could be better. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, there you have it. All right. We're moving on to the vegetables. These are like little crispy veg snacks. It has spinach, carrots, and tomatoes. They are gluten-free. And I really am excited to see the texture of these because... I know, me too. They look... I'm going to try all three. You can tell which is which. Carrots? Are the carrots the white ones? No, carrots are going to be orange. Well, which one's the tomato then? Tomato? Wow, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll try them. I'm going to try the white one first to see if this is... This is probably carrot. Tomato or carrot. I can't tell. I have no idea. Mm. Tastes good though. Yeah. They're very like light and airy. They kind of like, they're the puff. I'm sure you guys have had veggie sticks before. Very similar to veggie sticks. Um, I do like the little triangle puffs though. The texture is easy to bite into and they're actually flavored really well. Yeah. Not too salty or anything like that. It's just like a nice little crunchy vegetable snack, but they're chips. So um, these will go really good in kids' lunches, I think. I'm gonna see if Benson likes them and put them in his lunch if he likes, but personally, I feel like I could snack on these and they're really good. Yeah, I mean, they're made with potatoes. So they're they're basically potato chips mm -hmm. that have a little bit of enhanced, you know, some vegetables mixed with it. Yeah. Um, ultimately, it tastes for the most part like potato chips. So um, I like those a lot. I think the texture of it being all lattice is great. Yeah, me too. So I like it. It's great little snack. Ooh, they have shiitake mushroom in this. No, they don't. Swear to God. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't taste it. They do. Oh yeah, ground beef too. Just kidding. Beef. <laughs> okay, we are now into the sweets. We have quite a bit of sweets to go through. One, two, three things plus yeah, bring it on. these little coffee shots. So I think we should start with a coffee shot to kind of like cleanse the palate, get ready for the sweets. And we have just the regular coffee and then we have the mocha. So I think we'll start with the, the coffee flavor first. Okay. It does say to shake well, so keep that in mind. These are the Suja ones, by the way. 55 milligrams of caffeine, 50 milligrams of L-theanine, and there's an adaptogenic lion's mane and reishi. I've heard these terms before, but I don't know what they all mean. <laughs> lion's mane? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a witch's spell. <laughs> Ooh. Back to the Halloween reference. All right. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. That's way sweeter than I was expecting. It does not taste like coffee. Are you gonna drink it? Mushroom extract, huh? Oh, there is? Yeah, a lot of it. Lions, organic lion's mane mushroom extract. Organic turkey tail mushroom extract. All right, here I go. And you powered that down. Isn't that sweet? It actually tastes a lot like coffee. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it is coffee. I know, coffee but in it, it doesn't but taste like anything else. It just tastes no, like a shot of coffee. It's, but it tastes sweetened. It's not just yeah. like black oh, coffee. Sure. Like there's definitely a sweetness to it. But I actually really like this because the aftertaste isn't weird. Sometimes these, you know, they're initially good and then like the aftertaste hits you and you're like, ugh, no thank you. This is actually really good. And Suja is a great brand. So, um, okay. I, I'm, I'm into it. I okay. Like it. Well, let's try. Do you want to try the next one or you want to try let's, something else? Let's do break it up because okay. I want to try. Let's try the pumpkin spice Good kettle idea. corn. The this. pumpkin spice drizzled kettle corn mm -hmm. by Clancy. I'm excited to see how these are. Look at the orange. Oh, wow. They do look orange. They're definitely drizzled with pumpkin spice. It smells kind of weird. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> hey, whatever. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. I don't like it. Um, they're, they're, it's very synthetic tasting. You know, it tastes yeah. like fake pumpkin spice. I've had this flavor before. It's, it's not very good. It tastes like perfume. Okay, that's what it really tastes like. Don't it tastes like pumpkin it. spice perfume. So you like it, huh? I'm just trying to get a good read on it. <laughs> You're licking it? Yep, yep. Oh my goodness. See, I think they didn't need to add that other stuff. If it was just left with just the popcorn, how would you feel about it? Because there's there's the kettle corn, like yeah. Well, it's just it's that drizzle. It's very synthetic yeah. tasting, and it, like, it really does taste like 
a candle or something like that. So the candles did. It's not for me. I don't like that. I'm not gonna eat any more out of that bag. So if it's gonna get eaten, it's by Tim. All right, we're moving on to the Cookie Dough Cafe little chocolate chip edible cups that it comes in. And I am curious to see how this is gonna taste. It looks like ice cream. It does. It also looks like cookie dough, but like melted cookie dough. Okay. Ooh, it looks soft. Ooh, it does. There's a lot of chocolate chips deep down, so dig down. Mmm, this smells good. I love cookie dough, so I'm excited. <laughs> oh, let's try it. Okay. Mm. This tastes good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it does. This is delicious. It tastes really good. I think the texture about this is really soft and smooth and creamy, and the flavor tastes like real cookie dough. Definitely doesn't have any weird flavors to me at all. No, it doesn't. It reminds me of the cookie dough that comes in like a big roll, you know, you can buy it and it's like a tube. Oh yeah. And it's squishy. This reminds me exactly of that tube. So if you used to like eating that as a kid, this one is safe to eat because I don't think there's any raw egg in it. So yeah, I mean, hey, if you like cookie dough, uh, this is pretty good. Just a reminder, they have cookies and cream flavor too, but this was the chocolate chip and it was really good. Okay, we're moving on to the Mocha Energy Shots. So I'm guessing this one's gonna have a little bit more of a chocolatey flavor. This one also has the adaptogenic lion's mane and reishi, so maybe it'll taste the same, maybe not. Ooh, I like that one. They're both good, very similar. This one has like a little bit more of the, um, chocolatey flavor because it's the mocha uh, but both of them both of them are really good and I honestly do feel like I have a little bit of a spike of energy just from taking that little bit of a shot so I hope it lasts that's the only thing about these energy shots it's like you know it might give you a boost for an hour but then you crash after and that's the worst so hopefully this is like a long sustaining little energy boost and I can go pick up Benson and have the energy to like get through the rest of the day. Now we are moving on to the last thing, which is the macaron ice cream sandwich with the vanilla ice cream in the middle. This is probably what I'm most excited to try and Tim and I are gonna share it because there's a lot of sweets in this video. So these are pretty teeny tiny, but I can feel the macaron top and bottom and I'm so excited. <laughs> teeny tiny, I think that thing looks huge. This well. This is massive. <laughs> For how big the box was, and there's only four. Yeah, small. okay. Those are really oh, good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what what can you say? Macarons with ice cream in the middle? Oh my god. Sign goodness. me up. Yeah. This tastes so this reminds me of something though. Tastes like vanilla wafers. A little, Doesn't it? Like Nilla wafers? Yeah, Nilla wafers. Nilla wafers. Yeah, Nilla yeah. wafers. I can see that. It does taste a little bit like that, but very soft and I think we let it sit out a little long, so it's very, the ice cream's really soft too. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to let it sit out for very long if you're going to. Look at the last bite. Thank you, hon. I was so excited about the macaron sandwich, that ice cream sandwich, I forgot that Tim didn't really tell his side of the mocha. What did you, um, what'd you think? So with the, back to that, the mocha shot, uh, it tasted very similar to the last one. For me, it was like, taking a mushroom shot like in my head, which I was thinking, but the biggest mushroom hater, I'll say, it just tasted like coffee again. So, uh, wasn't like, had any aversion to it at all. So, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty good. All right, so that's it. We tried everything. We got through it all. Almost everything was a success. That kettle corn though, just skip it. Well, no. no, thank you. Uh-uh. But everything else seemed to be really good and yeah, that, that's it for the Aldi haul. I hope you guys liked it. Now for the question of the week. What if you've had pets in your life? Which pet has had the most impact on you, whether it be um, emotional or something they've taught you in, in your life? And it could be a pet that is currently living or a pet that has passed away. And the reason it's hard for me is because I've had a lot of pets and I, I used to have pet rats and I would say, the, my one of my rats, Button, she had a huge impact on me and I was so devastated and broken for years after she passed. And um, you know, I think about her occasionally from time to time, but this was way back in high school. 
And then more recently, we had a cat who we lost, and she was um, she was a special cat. She we re rescued her. Tiki. Tiki, and um, she was very protective of me. If my dog ever tried to like play with me, um, Luna, she would always like want to play and my my cat would attack her thinking this dog's trying to hurt me um and i knew if somebody were ever to like break in and attack my that cat she would have had my back and both of us yeah. she was a fighter she was a scrappy little thing and unfortunately we lost her and that is still really hard for me every year <clears throat> i write her birthday in my calendar still and every year i just have like a good, a good cry over it because i just really miss her and she was just such a special cat. But saying that, I love all my animals and I feel like they all hold a very special place in my heart and they all have their unique personalities and um, each one has impacted me in a special way. So that's that's my answer, I know, it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, I don't have that good of an answer. That was, um, <laughs> all right, good job, honey. You know me, it's my animals. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm gonna go the easy answer of our dog Luna. Uh, she's probably like, like we obviously Tiki was our first animal together, mm -hmm. uh, but Luna was right after, and she's been with us for so long through very all these yeah. different uh, adventures through life, and so um, she's just a special dog. She is, and she she's really is just dog. no one like her. So um, yeah, so love love all our pets. Though, we do. I mean, all of our pets are so special, but I think our first cat, our first dog, obviously are gonna hold a special place in our heart. So. Um, Anyways, having said that, I cannot wait to hear your answers because when you start talking animal, you're speaking my language. <laughs> um, but I really look forward to hearing what uh, what animal you choose and which ones have impacted your life as well. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.